Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one-up tutorial, learn about how to use the Stacy to do analysis of your test. So now let's see what we're doing in this tutorial. So with with test to be able to do tokenization, dimensions, n-grams, key terms, and then basic and then bag of words or bag of terms. So now let's see how to do that in this tutorial. So let's import the Stacy. So import the Stacy, and then we're going to create our simple example of a document that you want to analyze, right? So by default, if you Going to be our tokenization, right? Our tokens. So by default, if you use the state to open a document, to create to read a document, it's going to count the tokens for, for us. It's going to be testacy dot doc. Then our name of our file, which is example, right? The name of this our file is example. So example, that's the name of our file. Right? If I read it, it's automatically going to create a doc with the number of tokens already, which is very very interesting. So it has already counted the number of tokens, tokens, which is 82. So that means that it's already does that one for us on, on spot, which is very interesting. And let's move on to name entities. How do we get the name entities inside this particular stuff? So let's see how to do that with spacey, and then we see how to do that with the stacy. So let's create a simple way. So with space is going to be import spacey, then create an NLP object, which is going to be spacey dot load en then with this let's read our stuff it's going to be docs one something like this right so it's going to be our nlp then we supply our example of the file data that we have example that's it so that is it. so how do we use space to read this to get our entity so it's quite simple let's use a less compression it's going to be entity dot test then entity entity as well entity, entity dot label don't forget to bring the string representation to start with a bar so for entity in our doc dash our doc underscore one dot ents right Perfect. so it's going to get all the entities with space so that is how to do that in space now let's see how to do that with test daisy to do that with the state is also very simple. So it's going to be going to create a list of it. Let's create it as a list. Bring it up a little. So list, and then we're going to supply whatever you want to do. So list. Then we're going to go with testacy, testacy dot extract. So the extract gives you the option of doing several stuff. So testacy dot extract gives you the option of extracting several information from your test. So extract dot name entities, right? Then you supply your test. So doc, which was the one we had here, it was this particular uh, start that we had. So I either use it on the doc itself or you can just go to that. So let's sub, uh, give this one as docs zero, right? Effect so that you just use it to analyze it. So docs zero. Effect so that it give us almost the same thing, but the disadvantage or the advantage is that this one is just only give us giving us only the name entities without giving us their particular labels, right? So but species is going to give you the entities as well as their labels, like this entity and what it means. But this is going to going to extract from the entire document all the entities inside the particular stuff, which is almost the same thing. It is very interesting. That's how to do entity extraction with testacy now let's see how to do and ground with testacy with spacey you have to use a different method maybe you have to use noun chunks for noun page to get the end graphs. but with testacy it's very very simple so now let's see an example so it's going to be quite simple to do that it's going to be just like this you can just list it like this you can just list create a list of it then you can just go with testacy dot extract Right, extract dot n grams. So we have n grams now chunks. You can do all of these things with this case, which is very interesting. N gram then since it's an n gram, you must specify the particular type of n gram that you want to do. I mean that n gram is very useful when you're doing a lot of stuff. So now let's see what we do. So the next thing you're going to supply is going to be our doc dot zero for that, and then you're going to give us the particular type of n gram. Either you want a trigram, a pentagram, a Bigram, any of them. So let's go with the trigram, 
perfect. So it's going to give it interface. With space, it's going to be a different method, but with this, this is quite easy and simple. That is one interesting thing you can do with NC extract, NT extraction, and then n-gram extraction, which is this. Now let's see how to extract info all. Now let's see how to do info extraction, right? Using the same structured statement with this state. So I have this test there from New York, and we'll be trying to analyze this particular stuff to extract info from it. Now let's see how to do that. So I'm just going to put docs. Let's call it as New York and one, right? For New York. And then I'm just going to open it to so, okay. I'm going to use the Stacy to read it through so, the Stacy dot doc. Then open. The name of the file was New York, right? New York dot test dot read. Now, one thing you notice that most of in these ones must be ETF, right? Encoding so that it will work well. Otherwise, sometimes it may give you error. Perfect. Now we have downloaded our stuff. We have created, created a doc from it. So if I go with docs, docs NY for New York, it's going to give us all this particular stuff, which is very interesting. So how do we extract point from it? So to extract point from it, it's quite simple. It's the Stacy. So how do you do that? It's going to be something like this. So let's call that our statement. Or we can call it as points, right? Statement. Then the Stacy. Let me go up a little. The Stacy dot extract right dot semi semi structured statement then i can just apply whatever the stuff i have which was my docs yeah, for new york perfect right so what do i want to extract from it i want to extract something about new york so it's going to be like this let's call it as new york right perfect so it has created something Interesting. So if I go with statement, it's going to create a generator, right? So now I can print the result out from it. So how do I do that? It's going to be for let's call that for statement in my entire statement that I have. Right? My entire statement that I have, I want you to do something. So what do I want you to do? So I want you to give me the subject. Mostly mostly this statement is going to be subject, verb, comments. Web and then my point, right? The particular point that I want from it is going to be a statement. It's just like a uh, destruction, right? Statement, yep. Then I'll print out what my result to. Let's use a simple f string. We can use format any of them is going to work. Let's call it as dash. Then my point. So this is going to be my point. Point. Perfect. So if I run this particular server we had here, so it's telling me that New York is the home to the largest ethnic Chinese population outside of China. Really? I never knew that. With multiple signature, Chinatown develop, developing across cities. So it's very interesting. So it's able to give us some basic idea about what the entire test is about. It's about New York. It's very, very interesting. Okay. So that is something simple you can do with entity, with testacy, giving the extract method of the Stacy to extract info about it. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, I just put it in the comment section and stay tuned for more statements.